good, y'all. We about to be reacting to the eight most disturbing things discovered in basements. Now, I'm really expecting this to be hella scary. So, kids, if y'all watching this, make sure you with somebody. Whether it's your, your siblings, it's probably going to be a scary video. We about to get into it, man. I want the captions. Alright, man. Well, bit, I hate videos like this. discovery happened to multiple students at Ohio State University back in September of 2013. A group of students only recently started leasing an off campus house close to the school. Now, it was in this house where they would make a disturbing find in the basement. A month after moving in, the students would start to notice small and yet strange occurrences in the house. Things like cupboards, their oven, and even their microwave being left open. The house was three stories, with five students on the first floor and ten others on the second and third. So obviously it was difficult to keep track of everyone. But when they realized none of them were responsible, they decided to search the house, or specifically the basement. What they found was a locked door, which they had originally assumed was a utility closet that the landlord wanted to be kept locked. Though at no point in time was this confirmed, and after calling the landlord about it, they were informed this wasn't the case. The door should not have been locked for any reason. The landlord would end up sending a maintenance worker to check it out. Okay. And after breaking down the door, a room that was clearly being lived in was revealed. The room had framed photos and school textbooks scattered around. The students would change all the locks that night and leave a note for whoever was living in the room saying to call them. The man would actually end up calling the number and later be removed from the household. It turns out the guy was a cousin to one of the house's previous residents which is how he got a key in the first place. Okay. One of the students even recalled running into the man in the basement at one point earlier in the month and asking who he was, but only to be met with a very vague answer. Ultimately, the students would blame the leasing company of the home for the incident, as they were responsible for failing to change the locks from the year So far, it's not too crazy. Like, it don't seem too weird right now. It seemed like... It June of 2020, a man named Christopher Town would make a life-threatening discovery while helping his friend move furniture in his basement. Unknown to both of them at the time was the fact that the house itself was built over a well. And so at one point, when Christopher was making his way across the room, the floorboards just underneath him would snap, which caused him to fall a 25-foot drop to the bottom. Fortunately, there was water at the bottom to break his fall, oh. though this meant Christopher would have to use the rocks on the wall to hold his head above the water while he waited for the local fire department to arrive. And to make things worse, the water itself was at an extremely low temperature. Though, after only a few minutes, the fire department was able to successfully get Christopher out using a hauling system. Okay. And other than almost getting hypothermia, Christopher would make it out unhurt. Mike Carroll was a man who lived in a Okay, so far, so far, it's not, it's not too, it's not too disturbing like that. Bit. Mike was 57 at the time, and only a few months prior had purchased the house. While he was in the basement, Mike would make a disturbing discovery. He would find a full set of human bones buried under some dirt. Oh. But what makes this find so disturbing is the fact that the bones match the DNA of his father. What? When Mike was only what eight the? months old, his father was said to have gone missing. And throughout his childhood, he would question his mother about this. But each time, he was given a different story. So, of course, this made Mike want to find out for himself what had really happened to his father. Which is what gave him motivation to buy his childhood house in the first place. Hold on, bro. The new what? The found bones would obviously cause blame for the disappearance to be shifted onto his mother. Though she had unfortunately passed away 20 years prior. So, there's no way of confirming if she was responsible or not. And therefore, what really happened will forever be unknown. Bro. What? Nah, what do you mean? Nah, that's crazy. What's the secret to bro, my what? That's they insane, bro. And this, they didn't even, they not even going like, discover it, he's going to leave it? Nah, if I'm him, I'm freaking out. call from house owner Charles Price. That's, no. Though, while the repairman was working in the basement, he would claim to have noticed something moving in a covered container in a back corner. Curious, the repairman would lift off the cover and be met by a 200-pound alligator. But before running, the repairman would capture multiple Ali. pictures for proof to show the police. It turns out the house owner had the alligator for more than 20 years and was supposedly using it to help him with the house's mouse infestation. He would illegally keep the creature in a cage in his basement and claim to occasionally take him out into his backyard. 
Shortly after the repairman made the report, the alligator was confiscated by local animal control and later released into a bad environment. This discovery was posted to Reddit by an account under the name Daily Dish. In the post, the Redditor explains how a few years ago they shared a house with some friends, and in the first few months of living in the house, they hadn't spent much time in the basement. The basement was half finished, with the other half being a sort of dirt crawl space that extended under the porch of the house. Mm -hmm. They went on to explain how one night they decided to explore more thoroughly, and after grabbing a flashlight, they discovered a black canvas duffel bag in the very back of the dirt crawl space. Disturbingly, in the duffel bag were two black ski masks, a hunting knife, and a single black leather glove. Oh. The Redditor went on to explain mm. that they decided to call the non-emergency police number and report the discovery. Though, the police weren't interested, and therefore the house owners decided to set fire to everything but the hunting knife. Whether that bag had any relation to any sort of criminal activity is still unknown to this day. Nah, that's crazy. Nah, whatever, whatever bag that was was definitely trying to get into something. Next Ain't no coincidence. A guy who moved into a studio apartment in England. The guy claimed to have moved into the apartment without even viewing the place. And on arrival, how you move into an apartment without even? That's the first red flag. Didn't even view it. That's a red flag. Mm -hmm. The guy then goes on to give a tour of the apartment, and after a while. This sort of trap door on the floor can be seen. Got a bathroom pretty solid. Oh shit. Oh, oh excuse me. Don't, don't. What's this? My fault for the profanity. That look crazy though. So I figured, you know, it's been a fun A trap push. door? I'm out. So so, are you gonna open it? <laughs> Oh, shit. Nah, I don't know. Under this guy's apartment, it's some sort of dungeon looking basement. Don't go downstairs. Don't go downstairs, bro. What are you doing? Oh. Oh. What is What is What is that? Nah, that look. And you go downstairs, bro. See, this all be talking about. You go downstairs. See me, I won't even go down. Compared to the rest of the apartment, the area itself is pretty big. Featuring many large rooms and corridors. See what I'm saying? Exactly Yo. What this area was used for. It's unclear. I hope he moved out. If he's still living there, he's crazy. I give him that. A homeowner in Jefferson County, Wisconsin. It's fake. I hate seeing stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Going down the street. Like you going you going to go open up the basement? She would apply for a loan to repair the foundation. I don't know. By the way, at work, she would get a call from the workers hired to do the repair, explaining how they came across a gruesome discovery. They explained that as they started to remove the soil from the foundation wall in her basement, they had unearthed the full skeletal remains of a body. The skeleton was determined to be that of a 50 year old male. Most disturbingly, though, is the fact that after further inspection, it was determined that the house had been built right on top of an ancient burial ground. It's estimated to be up to 170 years old. Experts believe that in all likelihood, hundreds more skeletons are within a close proximity to the one found. Bro, what? This discovery would ultimately put a stop to the house's renovation altogether. Bro, this is insane. What? Whoa, what? In January of 2010, Wally and Linda DeForest would move into their new home in Goshen, Indiana. Though, only a week after moving in, the couple would discover a live torpedo in their basement. A what? Something they obviously weren't aware of before. A torpedo? Both in the basement? The thing looked, but still obviously active. There had been no drill holes to indicate it had been disarmed. The couple would end up calling the police, who would send out a police to extract Bro, the torpedo what? from the property's basement. And luckily, they were able to remove it without incident. But considering the squad did confirm the explosive was still active upon arrival, situation just makes you think how much worse things could have really gone bro i hope bro the um that man found out about like what happened with uh with his father because the, they said that was his father bones because they said something about, oh they uh they don't really know too much about what's, what's happened um about that that story so uh 
Yeah, they said that. They said like there's no updates on that. So I hope he ain't just let it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm on that. That's crazy. You find your your father's human bone. Like that's connected to your father. That's crazy. This is crazy. So this is why I don't like. You know what I'm saying? I don't mess with none of that scary stuff. If I go to home and I see something that look weird, I'm out. But that's gonna be the end of the video, man. Make sure y'all.